How would I describe Rabbi Andrew? I would describe Rabbi Andrew as an amazing, engaging, principled individual, but he's also a rabbi. I'd graduated NYU, had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, assumed I was gonna be a lawyer. I was turned on to the idea of teaching English in Japan. I was living maybe two hours outside of Tokyo. I felt like I should be more connected to the Jewish community. I spoke with one of my dad's patients who said, Rabbi Avi Weiss is doing something special in Riverdale. Five seconds, 10 seconds of meeting Rabbi Weiss, I knew that Chovavei Torah was the yeshiva for me. There is a common denominator in everything that Andrew is about. Every place where he is gone, these are places where people are vulnerable. While I was in yeshiva, I got to serve in the United States Army Reserve. My first job straight out of Chovavei was working as a chaplain on Rikers Island. A couple of my friends from Tokyo gave me a call and they said, our rabbi is leaving. Would you and Tali be interested in moving to Tokyo? Tali was pregnant. We had a million reasons not to move to Japan. I thought about what Rabbi Weiss told us, all of us, that when there's a Jew who's in need anywhere in the world, in Poland, in Argentina, even in Japan, you go, you just go and you go help that community. We all agreed at the board level that it would, it's really important to bring someone in who will connect with those uh, current members and those prospective members who have very, very young families and children. Rabbi Andrew has really fit the bill there. Here in Japan, we run the gamut. We have members who are traditional Orthodox, as you would label, to those that are really on the other end of the spectrum. Rabbi Andrew, coming has really brought a wonderful, inclusive spirit to our congregation. And it really is something very special. He has just done unbelievable Avodata Kodesh in Japan, in Tokyo. What I've sought out along with the board and the community as a whole is to create exactly that, to create a place of Judaism, of Torah, but with multiple outlets so that any Jewish person, that they still feel like they have a home. Another important part of being the rabbi in Japan is the next generation, the Dor Vador. We have a very vibrant uh, Sunday school, 50 or more children. And it's growing every month. A chaplain's job, a rabbi's job is not to sit in an office all day. Rabbi's job, go where the soldiers are, go where the Jews are, you find them. So my day to day, every morning is, I try to find the Jews. The community, in terms of its membership, has dwindled over the years. We have a new rabbi, and we want to get our membership up from the low 80s to 100. Two years, we're now close to 97. I think a lot of that just has to do with making it a warm and welcoming place. That they have a place in Tokyo that's theirs, and that I'm there for them. Rabbi Joe Potasnik, he often places rabbis in VA hospitals and in these clergy positions in prisons. And he used to call me every few months and say, Avi, I need more Andrew Shears. Every day that I wake up and I'm in Japan and I'm the rabbi, I don't take it for granted that the reason why I'm able to be that rabbi is the training and the learning that I was able to accomplish in Chovavei Torah.